Okay, you're hard, you're masculine, your testosterone is peaking at that point. And at the same time, you're making massive estrogen levels because you're feeling love for your partner. So that's what allows me to last. I can, you know, I playfully have given talks called the iron penis. Okay, so <laughs> I, I have to tell you this joke just for fun. I was giving a biohacking conference and I just happened in my hotel. There were three uh, iron men. So these three iron men and their wives, and so I was just sitting down. They didn't know me. I didn't know. We introduced, and finally, I was listening, learning about them as they told what all these great endurance things they can do. Then they asked me, "What I? Well, what do you? What do you do, John? Well, I'm the iron penis." <laughs> <laughs> but but I've, I've tested it out. You know, if you practice my high level of enlightened sexuality, what what am I? I I heard about a Taoist master who could do eight hours. And, and the woman, is, she's constantly producing enough hormones. So with my wife, I did 10 hours, just to, my competitive nature, you know, just, and, and this is, this is having advanced skills. It starts with, and I, and I can give the first biohack, the first biohack to be able to do something like that. Not that I do it all the time. I really did it like running a race, but uh, if you're doing it every day, you just don't have time in the day. But the, the bottom line of it is it starts out with, you're no longer having sex for pleasure. Everybody, you know, I see all these books on how to increase pleasure, how to increase. It's good. It's the point of you is pleasure. What is the point of pleasure? Like if I eat a bowl of ice cream, what's the point of that? It's just pleasure, right? And, and then you get fat, all right? So, <laughs> you know, we're above pleasure. You know, I give treats to my dog. It's pleasurable for her. We are beyond that. So we ask ourselves, well, why then do we want sex? It's always I ask why about everything. Why do I want sex if I'm not an animal and my, or if I don't want to make a baby? The reason I want to make sex, I want to have sex is it's pleasurable. But what's the point of having the pleasure? I can have pleasure with ice cream. No, the pleasure is, is allows a man to get in touch with his feelings. See, mm -hmm. the higher the testosterone levels are in a man, often the harder it is to fully feel what you feel. Because we have all that testosterone, testosterone, estrogen. They're like this. They go back and forth. What we're trying to do is get them both at the same time to go really high. And that would be like an example of both. I'm having a really fun time talking to you, Joel. And at the same time, I'm making points. I have a goal. I want to achieve. I'm aware of the town. I want to make a difference. See, that's all of our goal setting, but also to be not stressed at all on the other side of it. That's the yin and the yang together. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of sex is to, to, be, to help use sex to help you get in touch with how much you love your partner. Now, this doesn't work if you're not with someone you love. This is not your one night stand. This is not, <laughs> this is not practicing Taoist sex with masturbation and some, something online. You know, this is, this is, you know, you want to rise above that. Um, I've been through all that. I'm a teenager, you know, it's part of my life, but you, you kind of outgrow this stuff if you want to have the good stuff in life. And then when you retire, then it's even fantastic because you have hours you can spend making love. It's a fun thing to do. But you have to you have to start prioritize. This is my time to express how I feel, and so you express how you feel because you have the general satisfaction is down south. You want to feel the love, use the pleasure to feel because whenever you're feeling something, you have no resistance to it, so you can feel it more. You know, pushing it away, you're feeling it, and then when you're feeling it, you articulate it. So as somebody said in my uh, work, workshop this week, she said, you mean you want me to talk in sex? I said, yes, you got to talk in sex. Okay, well, talk in sex. But you, you organize it so that you practice what you're going to talk about outside the bedroom. And one of the basic things to, that I suggest, and this is, it's a stretch for a lot of people in a short period of time. Normally, I'd, I'd, I'd be teaching on the second day of the workshop. But it's one of my favorite hacks is, your wife says to you, and you practice this outside the bedroom first. It's kind of like the hug, right? You go give your partner a hug. Well, and it, it can happen when you, after the hug or with the hug or just any other time. Once a day, a woman practices saying to her husband, do you love me? And he says, yes. It's a script. You have to follow the script. You'll see it work. She says, do you love me? He says, yes. She says, how much do you love me? He says, with all my heart. She says, are you happy you married me? Yes, I'm happy I married you. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? I have no regrets. Do you still think I'm beautiful? 